Hello everyone, it's Janelle Stewart here from Parents Making an Investment. And I just want to share with you another way to invest, especially if you have children that is um, their tweens and also where they're starting to have a little bit of odor under their underarms. And the way to combat that is um, for me and my family is by using natural um, things that you could find in your kitchen and in your home. The reason why I've resulted into natural ingredients is from my own experience with using over-the-counter deodorants that has a lot of added ingredients, which has caused me to have inflamed lymph nodes and also blockage. And just from spending time reading how we have at least like 30 lymph nodes under our armpits and with that continuous blockage it can lead to other internal health problems then i resulted into i don't want that to happen to me or my children so with that being said i'm just gonna go make my own deodorant so this deodorant that i use for my children and for my entire family now is consists of three simple ingredients. Coconut oil, baking soda, and arrowroot powder. You can also add other essential oils um, for fragrance and also for increasing the antibacterial level in the deodorant. But if you do have sensitive skin naturally, I recommend that you minimize the amount of baking soda that you put into the deodorant and also the types of oils that you do use. First combine one fourth cup of coconut oil, one fourth cup of arrowroot powder, and one fourth cup of baking soda. If, you are, if your skin is sensitive, then you can use half of baking soda instead of one fourth cup. And that's what we did for our children because I'm not sure if they would react to it negatively. Um, so we only put in one eighth of a cup of baking soda. Next, you want to cream together the baking soda, the coconut oil, and the arrowroot powder until it makes like a creamy paste, kind of like um, butter. And if you so desire, you can also add in the jojoba oil, which would give your, to moisturize, and um, rosehip oil as well. And that's what I did. I add these ingredients in because of the arrowroot powder and the baking soda, it will also pull away some of the moisture from your skin. So I use the natural oils, jojoba and rosehip as a moisturizer. So that way there's under their arms don't get dry and chafy feeling. And if you want to, you can add the tea tree oil, which is also another antibacterial oil. And since you have the coconut oil as a base oil, you can combine it as well together and it's safe to put those in. If you want a little fragrance, you could use lavender, lemon oil as well, or lemongrass oil as well, just for fragrance so you have a nice fragrance deodorant. Once it's all creamed together, you can put your deodorant into a small container. It will make about four ounces, preferably a glass container to minimize bacteria growth. This should last up to about three to four weeks. And you all you need for your kids is pretty much like a, a pea size amount. And you just rub it in, your, in between your fingers. You could tell, have them do the same thing and just massage it under the armpits. And then when you do that, then you use another finger so you're not dipping the same finger in because this will also minimize the amount of bacteria that's going in there from under your arm if there's any of um, any that is existing at the moment. And so, uh, and just to keep it so it lasts longer. Hope you and your children enjoy this new 
all natural deodorant. And don't forget to comment and share your thoughts below. And also don't forget to subscribe and to like this video and to share. Thank you and take care.